In order to accurately measure the angles of the face, you'll need a goniometer, as well as a frontal and profile view of the head. Now let's take a look at the video. The line between the nasion and the tip of the nose in relation to the begonion creates another facial angle, the nasomental angle, which should be about 120 degrees. There are various indications to treat this area. Examples include atrophy of facial features, such as bone and fat commonly seen in advanced age, or to counteract a mild case of retrognathia. First, thoroughly disinfect the region and puncture the skin using a sharp beveled needle. Aspirate over several seconds before slowly injecting a small volume of hyaluronic acid. Apply even pressure to the plunger and deposit the product deep into the tissue. During the injection, observe how the tissue fills up and gains volume. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the treatment of the chin in our last session, we'll turn our attention to the angle of the jaw and jawline. The goal of this treatment is to achieve a balanced and harmonious appearance of the lower face Place the goniometer at the angle of the jaw. Using a white eyeliner pencil, draw two lines. They will help you later on. Thoroughly disinfect the area to be treated. Next, use a sharp needle to penetrate the skin and replace it with a blunt needle. Carefully insert the blunt needle along the previously marked line and use gentle pressure, keeping in mind that a little bit of resistance is normal. In this lesson, we'll cover the treatment of so-called marionette lines using hyaluronic acid. Marionette lines are formed by the tension of various muscles. Starting at the corner of the mouth, draw two lines downward to create a triangle. Carefully disinfect the region with a wipe and insert a sharp needle into the skin. Now take a blunt needle and carefully insert it along the previously drawn white line. A little resistance is normal. The earlobe is a popular location for treatment with hyaluronic acid, and not just among older patients. This treatment may be indicated in young women as well, especially if they have a genetic predisposition or if they wear heavy earrings, for example. In this lesson, we'll show you exactly what you need to do to achieve an optimal result in your patients. Disinfect the area to be treated. Secure the earlobe with your left hand and insert a sharp needle into the skin. First aspirate, then slowly inject a small bolus of hyaluronic acid. Slowly retract the needle and inject the product once more. Then apply gentle pressure and massage the area. In this lesson, we'll go over the aesthetic treatment of the neck using hyaluronic acid. The goal here is to smoothen small horizontal wrinkles. Begin by thoroughly disinfecting the area to be treated.
grasp a fold of skin and create an entry port using a sharp needle. Then, switch to a blunt needle and carefully insert it along the groove of the wrinkle. Advance gently, as a small amount of resistance is normal. In the event that you find yourself unable to advance the needle, remove it and repeat the entire approach once more. The aesthetic treatment of the back of the hand using hyaluronic acid is one of the most asked for treatments of this type. In this lesson, we'll show you how to systematically approach this popular patient request. Here we demonstrate the alternative method. Using your left hand, grasp a fold of skin and use a sharp needle to create an entry port. Now switch to and gently insert the blunt needle. Apply a small volume of hyaluronic acid using the fanning technique. When finished, massage the area to evenly distribute the product and use gentle compression to stop any bleeding that may have occurred 